You know, if you want low prices on everyday products like over the counter medicine, housewares and even food, then you're probably going to a dollar store. But are those low prices really a good deal? A Consumer Reports investigation looks at the do's and don'ts of deal shopping and Jennifer Kraus is outside one of these stores with more for us this morning. Jennifer, good morning. Good morning. Of course, I'm in front of a Dollar Tree. A couple stores down, there's a five below. You've got Family Dollar and Dollar General. With all of these stores, people love them because they feel like they're spending a little and getting a lot. Remember the old joke that there's a Starbucks on every corner? Well, these days you might be seeing more dollar stores than coffee stores. Believe it or not, dollar stores outnumber McDonald's and Starbucks combined, and more are coming. In fact, four of 10 store openings this year are expected to be dollar stores. And consumers are not shying away. According to a recent Consumer Report survey, 88% of Americans shop at dollar stores at least sometimes. The most common reason? They're inexpensive and convenient. But are the savings real? Consumer Report says yes, but there's a caveat. In our investigation, dollar stores, when compared to nearby grocery stores, were indeed cheapest for the entire purchase for each of our shoppers. And you might save more money at a dollar store, but the selection for each item could be pretty limited. Because of those limited options, Consumer Report says don't bother with a shopping list when you go into a dollar store. Instead, go in with a strategy and be flexible. Not many dollar stores carry fresh fruits or vegetables, but they often stock frozen versions of each, which can be just as nutritious. If you're in need of some over-the-counter medicine, skip the name brands like Advil and Tylenol and opt for the generics, which are chemically identical and often much cheaper. And always check the expiration date no matter where you shop. It's important to remember that you may be able to get many of these items cheaper in bulk at big box stores, but in an emergency or if you just need a little, dollar store offerings are usually a good bet. And keep in mind that dollar stores, just like so many other businesses, have been dealing with the same sort of supply chain issues as other businesses. So when you go shopping here, you can expect to find the same sort of empty shelves and limited selection of certain items as you would shopping anywhere else. Back to you.